Hey Havran, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-animation.com. This is part two of file uploader in Playwright. So in the part one, we discussed how to upload file in Playwright when you have a tag called input tag and type equal to file. So in the last part, we discussed how to handle this kind of file uploader where the input is equal to. So basically, sorry, uh, tag name is input and type equal to file. So you can directly use this option that we discussed is set input files. But now the moment you start working with modern applications, you will come across this kind of scenarios where you don't have any tag called input tag and type equal to file. So you need to click on this box. Then only you will get this file chooser or sometimes you will get a button called upload files, but that will be a normal button, not an input tag. So in this case, we need to click on this box in order to open this, right? But let's say if you have application where you have two buttons, let's say upload one file or upload multiple files, the concept will remain same. Since we don't have button, I will directly click here. But in your case, if you have button here or multiple file uploads button here, feel free to click on this. Now in order to do this, we are going to use a new method called file chooser. We have seen set input files. That was a different use case. In this case, file chooser will be the best option. File chooser objects are dispatched by the page on file chooser. So basically this is my file chooser where I need to choose the file, right? I can navigate here and so on. So this is called file chooser and this is exactly what we are going to use. So in order to use this, first of all, I need to use one method called wait for file chooser then I will be using a callback function and here we will be clicking on the element which will actually bring the file chooser in our case it will be this once the file chooser is available you will get the reference of file chooser and then you can set any files very simple and let me show you a practical scenario so I'm going to create a separate file this is already we have done so I will just copy it and say file chooser without input tag. So select this. Now I'm assuming that you're comfortable with these. Okay. So you are, we are going to start a Chromium with headless equal to false. We are creating a new page and then we are navigating to this application where we need to upload files. So in order to click here, first I will inspect this. You can see this is a div section. We also have a class plus we also have ID. So I will go with this ID. Now pay attention. I will use page dot wait for file chooser. And you can see it has one option that you need to pass runnable, which is basically a callback function. We need to pass perform actions and wait for the new file chooser to be created. Now, if you're comfortable uh, with callback function, what we are going to do, we are going to use pair of parentheses, arrow function. Now I will use page dot locator. So basically I have captured the ID, right? So for ID, I will use hash and I will click on it. So basically what it will do, it will perform click on this particular element and it will wait for the file chooser. Once the file chooser is present, we will be getting a reference of file chooser. So if you just type file chooser, it's a separate interface altogether and it's coming from com.microsoft.playwright. So let me use file chooser. Now you have to use this reference in order to set files. So I will use the same reference that we created and now I will set dot set files. So as usual, you can use a single file or multiple file upload. It's totally up to you. For example, let's say I want to set only one file. So I will say path dot pass dot get and I can give any file that I want to upload. For example, let's say I want to upload a file. Now let's say I want to upload the sample image dot png. So I will right click on this get info. So this is the path. So I will give the path here slash 
in the file name sample image.png and we are done right now we are uploading a single file so once I get the file chooser I'm saying go to this particular path and upload this file now right click and run as your application and let's see so you can see it started and here we go it uploaded sample image.png you might not see the file chooser because since we're giving callback function it will set the path automatically and in case if you want to set multiple files you can use path array what I mean this is a single file now in order to upload multiple files the concept will remain same I will still use file chooser and I will use set files this time I will be using path array so let's create one path array now you can directly pass so if you remember in the last lecture we directly created this path array right or you can create this path array of type files and then you can pass same thing we are going to do here so let's say if I want to go ahead with path array and I will say files to upload upload and equal to I will be creating one array where the first entry would be paths dot get this is actually the first file which I want to upload and let's say I have another file so right now I'm uploading the same file but let's say if you have multiple files just keep changing the name since it's a dummy application I can upload the same file multiple times so we don't have any validation check here but if your application have validation check please upload multiple files with the different names once you have this reference you can just pass your as it is and this time we are going to comment this okay now let's run this and see the output just going to start and it has uploaded multiple files so very simple we just created array of path and these are the basically paths that we are passing so yeah that's all about today just a quick revision if you have file uploader with tag input and at the rate type equal to file you can directly use set input files and you can pass path and if you have multiple files path array and you can pass the path here if you don't have input tag if you have a custom file uploader what we did today you need to use wait for file chooser pass one callback function and click on the element which will bring the file chooser in our case the file chooser was coming the moment I click on this circle if you have buttons you will be writing here click on that button once the file chooser is present you will get reference of file chooser then use one method called set files and you can pass this reference if you have multiple files create one path array where you can give the path of multiple files I'm using same file again and again you can give different files and pass this so I hope it is clear if you face any issue please let me know in the comment section and if you are looking for more videos like this that also let me know so if you are new to this channel then make sure you support this channel subscribe this channel share with your friends and colleagues and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care